Ladies and gentlemen, now yesterday we did a couple of videos having a bit of fun with a brand new blue Galland in Elite Geared PvP on Global, and a couple of requests that I had was firstly to bring Arthur into the team as well, because he's got buffs on his base, so you can give those buffs to blue Galland to kind of amplify his basic attack quite a bit from the start, and also Arthur as well is a very single target heavy character. And also a secondary question that I had quite a bit yesterday as well, is can you bring Gallant into normal PvP? Because if you're aware, like with geared PvP, the meta is slightly different. Some tactics work in geared PvP that don't work in regular PvP because of various gear sets and attributes. Uh, so today I wanted to show a little bit of Blue Gallant uh, in normal PvP with a combination of Arthur King uh, and also Merlin as the support. And I've played around with this a... Um, uh, a fair bit this morning. I'm also like a little bit new to playing Arthur in PvP. I only got him up to level 70 yesterday evening, so I'm not the most experienced at playing Arthur, and I'm also very new to Galland. I just got him yesterday as well, uh, so I may make a few misplays here and there, but just keep that in mind, boys. I'm not perfect. I'm not well practiced yet, so you know, don't roast me too much in the comments section, but hopefully we can have a little bit of fun today, uh, and hopefully our course lands on Green Barn here. Yes, fantastic. It's a huge part of playing um, uh, Galland, or really winning with Galland, should I say. If your Coerce lands on Green Barn, uh, then Green Barn cannot apply his Extort, and then game is won most of the time, at least in my experience. Uh, but I don't know if he's going to go for Extort. Oh, he did go for Extort. Oh, poor fella, man. Poor fella. A lot of people, they're just not really playing around Blue Galland at the moment. I think because he's such a, a new character as well. Um, I'm not really too sure what the, the core reason is, but I think what we're going to do here... So let's let's merge that, and then should we give him something to cleanse? And then actually, let's let's buff up Arthur here, because we can rush Arthur's ultimate as well. And then just nuke into um, King? Yeah, I think so. Let's go for King. And then I think next turn, we can have a pretty good wombo combo. Trying to think about exactly what I want to chuck where, because um, Arthur's ultimate just hits insanely hard. But we've also got the buffs ready for that as well. Oh my gosh, I've lined up a turn and a half for next turn, right? Oh, tried nuking after the down. Wasn't going to happen there though. Um, okay, right. I think we go in for Arthur's ultimate on King, and then Gallum's ultimate on Deanne. And then, um, yeah, Gallon's basic on Deanne as well. That's a chance. I really hope this crits. If it crits, it's probably going to one-shot King. Double crit chance as well. Perfect. And then let's go Gallon's ultimate. Probably going to hopefully take about half down there. And then we've got Silver Move, which is going to take another, oh, 40k. That actually hit um, about, what was it, 7,000, 8,000 harder than the ultimate? So, yeah, yeah, yeah it works, man. Yeah, it works. Uh, it's the, oh, my, no, what? Oh, what is, oh, did you go, what is that RNG, boys? Double gold top deck. Prayers, but let's pray for Kaze right now. He, he needs it. Because this man... I'm about to take this man to the Shadow Realm, boys. This He's going to the Shadow Realm right now. Let's go. Do we go double gold? Do we go double gold? And then petrify? Oh, let's see it. What? Oh, oh my god! What? Oh. That was dirt. That was dirt. That was some of the, the, the most disgusting RNG I have ever seen in this game, man. That was just, um, wow. I, I need to shout. I need to wash my hands off that, boys. I felt dirty. That felt really, really dirty. Well, that was obviously a, a pretty extreme example of some, uh, some very good gallant RNG toward the end, but the start is, uh, you know, fairly, um, uh, you know, fairly common if you do go second, and that's what I do like about this team, especially with the apple pie as well, because it does allow you 
um because you're either gonna you know chances are there's like a two out of three chance that you're gonna get an additional gallant card or an additional arthur card um and that just allows you to line up double ultimate the next turn as well because you don't get double king card so we got double arthur card here so i think we um we merge on Arthur and meet with Gallant, and we got Coerce on Green Barn there. He's also got Red Gotha, so I think this is going to be a, a bit of a chicken dinner here, boys. I think it is. Is it better to? I think it's better to draw two Gallant cards though, just so you can save his cards for the next turn for even more on the burst. But I think we merge here, get the ult. Um, yeah, who do we attack into? I think we go for King. King's... I want to nuke here, lads. You can see without the buffs, it's not really too snazzy on the damage there. He does um, need those buffs to amplify the damage of his single target strike. Hmm. Gotta think about the play next turn. Oh, is he gonna try and fossilize? Okay, interesting. Well, um, I think we've got to use both ultimates on King. Hopefully one ultimate's going to be enough to get him down with a crit on Arthur. I know Gallon's ultimate wouldn't be enough, even if it did crit. His ultimate, the damage is a little bit uh, lacking and it doesn't have a great crit chance either. So yeah, at least this, this guarantees that King is going down though, which is, um, you know, decent. He like, ruins his... Uh, plan and alt gauge management by the look of it. He's quite close to a green barn ultimate, but again, uh, what is it? Because we have coerce on green barn, that's really reduced the threat of that unit. And next turn we can use a buff as well. Just trying to think what we want to go for next turn. Okay, he's just upgraded some skills. That is going to hurt. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to withstand that. Just nuke in here. I don't want to use my AoE. Yeah, I think we just nuke into... Actually, let's nuke into green um, Merlin here. Good chance my king's dead from green barns ultimate, though. Even with that attack increase. I don't know if that was a, a bad thing to do for... Um, yeah, Gallon there. But next turn, we, we just haven't really got that lucky on Gallon draws this time. Which, uh, I guess, kind of offsets our, our previous matchup to a certain extent. Let's try to extort and then nuke in. Oh, no! That was enough. Oh, King's dead as well. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Well, well, well. What do we have here, then? Just go double. I guess I kind of need to drain there. Maybe, maybe I should have just got him for the second attack there. Maybe there is still a chance to recover this. Hmm. Oh, I don't think this is going to be enough. It's our only play to win, though. If this is by somehow... Oh, it was enough. Okay. We're still not out of the woods. Hmm. This is gonna hurt. Okay, we go perfect cube, and then... Gotta get the merger here. It's going to be down to the wire, boys. This is going to be down to the wire. I, def 
definitely don't feel safe. Gold card in hand as well. What gold card is that? Is that the attack disable? Oh no, that's just an upgrade there. Gosh, if this kill this if this kills Merlin. Please kill Merlin, man. Please kill Merlin. Oh, might be enough. Yes, okay. Oh, we're still not out of the woods though, boys. We are still not out of the woods here. This match has uh, literally got me on the edge of my seat right now. Okay, what do we want to use here? I think we use Merlin's perfect cube. And then I don't want to use the drain. I want to save that for next turn. So I think we then merge this. Oh, okay. So you've got to... Let's use the ultimate. Let's use the drain as well. I think, I think that's the way we go. Still, still not clear yet, lads. Still not clear. Maybe I should have used Arthur's basic. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's go for the train. And then we got a gold card here. And then we got Arthur's ultimate next turn. I don't think there's anything Gotha can do now to block that out. Four. Okay. Well, um, that was a scary match, man. But we won in the end. So, uh, <laughs> you know, two out of two so far. Uh, certainly uh, a little bit um, more intense than the first matchup, I would say. But it's all about really drawing those Galland cards. Like those Galland cards are just um, the key to uh, having a, uh, a very easy win, as we saw by that uh, double golden top deck in the uh, the, ma the first matchup. It worked out very very nicely. Okay, uh, let's go for match number three now and see how see how this one turns out. But that one was um, yeah, definitely edge of my seat, boys. Definitely edge of my seat. But I'm really glad we took that gamble with the Red Arthur to try and one-shot Green Barn. Uh, and it paid off. It paid off well. Red Arthur's ultimate hits so hard, lads. You cannot understate the damage at all there. And hopefully that uh, really really does show the value of it. I, th I feel like, um, you know, today's video has done a, a really good job so far showcasing, like, how crazy Blue Gallon can be if he's left alive. And how crazy as well uh, Red Arthur can be. But come on, Coerce, please land on Green Barn. Oh, this is perfect, lads. We pray now. We pray he does not play around it. Okay, he's using it. Slang at the beginning on Green Barn. Oh, no. He's going to slap him with Jericho, isn't he? Top 10. Ugh, top 10 mistakes right there, boys. Top 10 mistakes. Right, so I think the plan is now to we merge on, merge on Arthur. Rush double ult there. And then Okay, I think I think I want to nuke down Jericho. She's a problem if she's left alive. She's like the thing that kills my entire team, so I think we use Arthur's ultimate on Jericho next turn. And then um I don't know if it's like guaranteed. I don't think I've ever seen his ultimate not crit. Okay. Ooh. Didn't didn't feel uh, too good toward the end there. I think then we use Arthur's silver just to guarantee the KO. And then um, nuke in with Gallon's ultimate on uh, Blue King. Yeah, the reason he's trying to rush down Gallon is to free up Green Barn. That might be enough to... Uh... Oh, Green King uh, isn't going to be able to purify as well. I don't think we die from Bleed. Okay, we're still alive from Bleed. We might, we're might. we probably going to die from some sort of attack next turn, though, on Gallon. And then uh, Green Barn can extort. 
But we're looking good. If we can take that king down. Oh no, he went straight for the extort. Poor oh, mug. I don't know, boys. Oh, I think he's banking on the, uh, the bleed a bit too much there. Um, right, let's go for that. Let's get that in the bin. And then who do we petrify? Merlin or Barn? I think we petrify Barn. We get the, uh, the bleed on Merlin, and I think that gives us King's ultimate as well. So we can smack that down next turn, maybe with a little bit of Arthur burst as well. I'm 99% sure Galland is probably going to die though. Oh no, he's not going to die. Wait, he might die, he might die. Is going to turn the attention to Galland? Yeah. Galland ain't surviving that, boys. He, he, you know, he held himself in there for a while though. I managed to uh, become a massive, uh, you know, he, he took a lot of hits. Okay, I think we buff up King here, just so that increases the alt damage, and then we go for the Petrify on Merlin. Hmm. So I'd see the damage here, man. This should be a decent ultimate there. Hmm. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, and then what's our play next turn? That's the question. So he's probably an extort and whip, I would assume. Um, which is going to give him a ton of regeneration. So may maybe I should have petrified him and just taken the ultimate. Hmm. I think if I do this play, though, that gets rid of um, Merlin. Moderately confident in that one. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Merlin's down. She's in the bin. Somebody's going to die, I would assume. King, maybe? I don't know. King's still got increased stats, so. Chance he. Maybe I shouldn't underestimate Greenbard's ultimate. Underestimated that other matchup, man. I got like, what was it? 47k? It's like non crit? It's mad. Right. Um, okay, I think we. Swap these around, and then I think we buff up everybody's stats, and then petrify. That also gets rid of the uh, the siphon link there. Next turn we can use double ultimate. This man is in the bin. Perfect. Four. Oh, well, it hasn't been going too bad so far today. Um, yeah, I should sort him out. I think legendary should be enough. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. I think it's worth mentioning as well that Arthur is the character in this game that I've pulled the most so far. So I think I've got his ultimate upgraded like level 5 out of 6, just as a bit of an additional heads up there. I just cannot stop pulling Arthur, man. I just get him in like every other opening. Uh, but yeah, that was fantastic. Um... All right, let's crack on. Let's crack on, shall we? Let's go for one one more match today. I think it's been going uh, so well so far, but I, f I feel like one more might be might be the ticket, lads. Hopefully, uh, Galland gets another chance to go on a bit of a rampage because Arthur, I think, has been doing a lot of the heavy lifting in the uh, the last two matchups. But I think uh, today's video. Uh, has really given me a new appreciation for how crazy Arthur can be. I think there is a lot of value at the moment in a high amount of single target damage. Oh, it's a mirror matchup. He gets to go first as well. He's coerced my Arthur. I've coerced his Gallant. Okay, so I've I've got a good coerce. He's got a slightly annoying one. Um, but also, he's not using anything that helps rush his ultimate there. So... Um, I don't want to get too out of myself, man, but it's looking okay so far. Oh, no. It's a horrible first turn. Okay, I think we used that, and then should we... I 
think we buff up Arthur and then go for a new kin on his Arthur. I think that's the play that we go for. That controls his Gallon, gets rid of the buffs and also lines up. Uh, wait, I swear I targeted the Arthur there. Oh no! Oh no, I didn't play around the Coerce, did I? Oh gosh, I forgot about that. Well, lads, I'm a mug. Official. Uh, at least I got rid of his buffs, though. Ah, purify. Ah, we got the ultimate. Ah, uh, okay, that was... Oh, just wasted turn on that, man. Okay, King's petrified now. So I think we, we just go... Um, all in for the nuke there. Hopefully that ultimate is enough to get him down. And then I think we use Gallon's um, two cards as well. Just to add a little bit more damage there. In case that's not enough. Oh, hopefully the area of effect is. Oh, no, not quite. It's worth a try though, man. It, it really wasn't too far off there. And then we got Gallon's ultimate next turn. Um... There's a really good chance my Gallon dies, though, before he gets to use his ultimate, which would be incredibly unfortunate, but... Okay, that's fine for now. And then, uh, if he's just got one king card... Oh, no, he doesn't have one king card. Okay. Well, I think we go for this play. Hmm, how confident... I need to make sure Arthur dies, really. Okay, I'm going to use that on Arthur. Hopefully, if Arthur gets um, uh, killed by both of the ultimates, though, it switches to King. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, I need I need this to friggin' auto target to King and not the Guild Thunder that's just dropped down. Oh no! Rip! Opponent has forfeited the match, boys. There we go. Wow. Well, that was uh, an interesting mirror match. Again, um, his choice of Gil Thunder as the support and also the fact that he didn't use um, Apple Pie were kind of the main reasons that he didn't win there. Uh, so, yeah, that was uh, that was not too bad. But, you know, you know what they say, lads? Should we go for one more one more match up today? He, he has been going quite well. So um, let's, we're on a, a bit of a mad win streak so far. And they have been some fantastic... Oh, no, no active cooking buffs. Oh, my goodness. We don't have apple pie. Oh, mate. Speak of the devil, boys. Speak of the devil. I, I've run out of that particular apple pie. I forgot to switch over my stack. <laughs> Can we still win without a cooking uh, buff, though? That's the question. That is the question. Oh, man. This uh, really does poke some holes in my single target burst strategy. But as long as we get the coerce on Green Barn, there is a chance. And it went on Gotha. This might be a big rip, boys. A big fat rip. This might be the most epic gaming comeback in history. Okay. Arthur. I think we got to rush ultimate on Arthur. So let's uh, cleanse. Use this. And then we merge so we can get double old gauge. And then... I don't want to shot that green barn. I don't need that man from the skyline. No, please don't petrify. Oh, I got no counter to that. Rigged game, boys. Rigged game. Sometimes the way it be. I'm not giving in, though.
He could take like an L on Gotha. Upgrade some skills, deal some crazy damage. I'm going to use this. I'm going to move this around because I don't need it immediately. Let's just move it so hopefully we can top deck a friggin' heal. <sighs> hopefully he doesn't top deck um, a green barn merger. That's my only chance of winning at the moment. Is that if he doesn't immediately get to 5 volt gauge. Come on, draw on buff cards. I don't want to get buff cards. Oh, gosh. Uh, there's a chance we're just going to get whipped into oblivion here, though. Ooh, okay. Oh, is it, if he's got one more with... Oh. What Scooby, mate? What Scooby? Um... Right, we buff up King, use that, use that. Let's get as much spread damage as we can here. Right, I think the Gotha's Ultima is gonna definitely kill King. It might kill Gallant. Um, might kill Arthur if he gets really lucky. Okay. Does that merge anything for us? Not, not really. Okay. Oh, that's really good though. Just go in. Okay, we sh we should be fine now. Uh, yes, I think is the play. Poor. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we we managed to you know get an alright comeback on that one. I don't think there's anything the Red Gotha can do now to come back on five percent against uh, three legends. Oh, even without apple pie, boys, still got it in the bag. I was, uh, I was terribly worried. Uh, I got, you know, a, a little bit too excited pressing that replay button, man. I forgot to uh, reallocate my food, but there we go. The power of the Galland Arthur single target burst wombo combo is is madness, boys. It's so so mad. So yeah, hopefully you did enjoy today's video, and if you did, uh, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Once again, thank you much so much for all the um. Uh, the support on the videos yesterday, man. So many videos yesterday just blew up. I think the Gallon PvP ones, one of them got over 20,000 views. And we've got like 500 new subscribers as well. So if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for watching the video support, and I really do appreciate it. And yeah, if you could smash that like button, help me out, that'd be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.